What's going on folks? So today I have a guide for you for a character that normally no one really gives a shit about, nor pays attention to, nor really knows about, period. It's Turles, uh, enemy from, uh, main villain from uh, Tree of Might. Personally, I've actually always liked Turles. He's always been, he wasn't, he's not necessarily one of my favorites, but I think he's a pretty cool character, being like the complete ant antithesis to Goku. I always like that, that idea. And it seems like Tenkaichi 3, the guys over at Spike actually took that similar, not to just design, but also the gameplay with how him and early Goku actually play out. Alright, so I like how just practicing a got exposed by a complete accident before I start recording. So, yeah, time to end that shit. Okay, so Toralus as a character is fundamentally shit. And I mean he's complete shit. And I only need to show you one thing. That will completely prove why he is garbage. This. Heavy finish, blast wave, heavy finish, and heavy finish. So not only does triple stacked heavy finishes, which means, you know, he's only going to be able to get one type of combo extension out of any of his moves. If he's ever going to do mix up, it's most likely going to be heavy finish. And the only other move he has is blast wave, which has always been complete crap. Look at that, that wasn't even a natural combo. What the fuck? <laughs> why is this so bad? So melee wise, Tarlos is garbage. For throws, he's got a dragon throw, which is as vanilla as it gets, really. Oh my god. Uh, even his key blast is really bad because he only shoots at like seven maximum. And his full charge takes forever to actually fire out, and it's not it's pretty predictable. So all in all, and not even that, his his charge attacks are, are take forever to come out, they're predictable, they're hella seeable. Uh, melee wise, he's not that strong either, so more or less, all across the board, uh, Turles is just bad, like really bad. Um, so bad in fact that he actually has, actually I think I know whose slow soup that is, but it's probably not Goku's actually, I'll look into that. He definitely has Goku's up smash, he might have Goku's down smash, I'll look into that, it definitely seems similar though. But yeah, Turles is just not good across the board, so let's go exploring for it actually, shall we? Okay, actually to be fair, to be... To be totally fair, Turles does have access to some pretty good Blast 2 attacks, like Kill Driver, which I like its speed and its range, its speed, its range and its hitbox, that's always really cool. And also to be fair, uh, Barrage Wave has some pretty good accuracy for a volley attack in this game. As you probably know, volley attacks lost all their accuracy in this game compared to Tenkai 2, and it gets, I know this is a, this was unintentional because Raging Blast 1 fixes this and makes these tracking moves actually fucking track your opponent now. That's cool. So, as a result, Turles is just... Well, actually, also his ultimate attack is also... It's flashy as hell. Um, I'm not sure about the range. Let's see, let's see the range. Yeah, it's actually not too fast and doesn't have too much range. So, overall, Turles is just, like, sitting in, like, the like bottom tiers, like, bottom half of the game in terms of usefulness. However, there is one move that actually does bring him up a little bit, but it's not you know, as good as KO Ken, unfortunately, and it's it's his move called Through the Tree of Might. Let me just reset the hang position so I can showcase this. It's actually kind of okay. Um, yeah, again, Turles, it, it, I feel, is exactly like early Goku, where fundamentally he's pretty bad compared to the rest of the characters, but he has one blast one move that actually separates him quite a bit, and it's... His other blast one is Explosive Wave, which is actually really fucking good. Uh, okay, so, through the Tree of Might. It's his second blast one done by pressing L2 triangle, um, L2 circle and up. As you can see, there is a power up move. It's giving boost to everything he has, but hold it. You can do, do it multiple times. And if I can actually connect with this, you'll see it actually does restore two key, key gauges by default. So that's okay. It costs, um, but a generalization, it, co it um, costs two gauges, or two blast socks in this case. Uh, it's a general power move, and lasts until you use a blast two attack. So, that's the general idea of what Fruit of the Tree of Might does. Um, now let's get into some actual, like, really cool shit about this. So, let's see. Uh, it's actually very similar to Kaoken, I gotta say. Um, similar in that it's stackable up to a certain ceiling and threshold and it goes it's not really difficult to maintain per se but it is restricted by certain factors so let's say so anyway 
let's just look at Turtles as a character. So, four stock gate or four blast gauges. That is actually pathetic. I don't think Turtles as a character should have anything less than five for these reasons. But you know, eh, whatever. Um, so for the tree of might, basically for the attack level buffs it gives you, it's basically like Kale Ken where it'll give a plus one to every single one of your stats. You know, attack, defense, supers, uh, key. And it doesn't go away. You'll notice that when you use it once, the benefits, like your stats start, don't start going down. In fact, you keep your stats, which is pretty cool. You can do whatever you want. But the problem, well, actually, now let's just do this from the ground up. So let me just quickly get rid of it. All right, first off, base damage, by the way, this is a normal setup. Uh, Turlis, there's no buffs, no nothing, just raw Turlis, no items or anything. Neutral damage is 1780. So you go plus one. And 1920. That's like. I don't even want to say like a 10% boost. That looks like more like a 20% boost. Or, no. Like 5 10%. That's really low. Activate again. 2080. Go for a third time. And now we're looking at 2210. Fourth time. 2340, fifth time. All right, so you're already noticing a difference. Uh, 2470. This stack's higher than Kaoken in terms of like amount of times you can actually use it before it reaches the ceiling. Kaoken is four. Fruit of Tree of Might is actually seven. You can use it up to seven times before the benefit stops. Uh, stops stacking. Oops, sorry about that. At six, it's 2680, and at plus seven, it is 2680. Uh. Or the last one was actually, well, I actually matched that beforehand. Plus 6, 2600, plus 7 is 26, uh, 2680. So you can tag it up to 7 times. The stacking, or like the, uh, what the hell is the word I'm looking for? Point stacking is kind of wonky because it goes between like 5%, 10%, and it's like very small increments, but these are actually like plus ones pl uh, that are being added for every time. And this goes all across your stats. So. Um, right now, Turles is rocking actually pretty half decent attack. Like, not like amazing, but it's just enough to get by. Like, he, he's actually gone from being a, a complete shit physical attacker to being okay. He's got some offense and presence. He's not completely god awful, but he can still be better. I mean, for God's sakes, I'm actually able to break 10,000 damage before I need to start extending a combo with stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, but again, the problem here is as soon as you do a blast two attack, which no, which unfortunately Tarlos has really good blast two, so you want to use them. The buffs are immediately gone, and you need to wait. If you're using a raw Tarlos, you need to wait for two gauges every single time it happens before you can use it again, which is a big pain to dick. In all honesty, oh man, if Tarlos was a more substantial physical attacker, uh, like I don't know, swap any one of these. Heavy finishes out with like, I don't know, even like a key wave or flying kicks. I think he'd be fantastic, but unfortunately the fact he's got triple stack heavy finishes, he's got a really shitty other smash attack, and his combo damage is limited. He can't really emphasize or capitalize too much on this really cool ability he has. But there are ways to actually make this kind of cool. Um, I guess fundamentally the idea that it does restore two key gauges it is pretty nice by itself. So with here you can like rip a kill driver, do this, and then you're you're ready like firing off another one, uh, for like not really any cost to you. That's kind of cool now. Um, one other thing I do want to actually show off is that when you get to plus seven, your charging speed is ridiculous. Like hang on, but even on, like plus two, you can see it's a lot faster. If you get to plus three, oops, we actually expend some. Like, even a plus three, there's now a very noticeable difference in the speed of charging. Yeah, it's, um, quite, it's getting quite ridiculous. Also, I do actually want to show off what a maxed out, uh, plus seven fruit tree might will actually do for your, uh, ultimate attack. It's, um, pretty gross, actually. Okay. Let me just make sure to charge that max. Oh yeah, that looks like it. Oh my god, that was like, that was a ridiculous uh, increase time, wasn't it? Okay, so 
Let's take a look at what Meteor Burst does for full damage one backed by a plus seven. I guess I should also show it off in base damage too. So, yeah, 21,000 points of damage. Uh, let's compare that to how much damage it usually does. To be fair, this attack is ridiculously cool to look at. I never get tired of it. Uh, but only Turles was viable competitively. So 21,000 compared to 14,000. That's that's a really substantial increase in damage, I gotta say. That's really good. So anyway, um, if you're using Turles Raw without any power-ups, he is not worth using for Food Retreat Might because, you know, it takes two gauges to actually get one benefit, and then once you use it, it only le it's a very small increment, and it goes away as soon as you use a Blast 2 attack. And with Turles, you want to use Blast 2 because he gets more juice out of that. So, what's a good setup to actually take a more further advantage of Fruit of the Tree of Might? Um, I do have one. It's not like the best one, I feel, but it's definitely a good start. Okay, so, my personal setup for Fruit of the Tree of Might is as follows. Evil Ambitions. It's basically, um... Heroes, uh, Heroes Justice Link, the item was called? Something like that. Basically, Blast Dock is actually minus one, so, you know, anything that's like plus three is now, is, or anything that's three gauges is now two. Anything that's two Blast Docks is now one Blast Dock. Doesn't go below one, unfortunately, but, you know, there you go. Only drawback is that key power is at minus one, but considering how much faster you can stack Fruit, uh, fruit Tree right now, it doesn't really matter, really. And randomly reduces. It says damage from Devil Man's Devil Might Beam is reduced, but two things about that: one, you're never gonna fight him in a com in a competitive environment, so don't worry about that. Two, I don't think the damage is really that much to begin with, so you know, whatever. Um, the other one good item is Blast Gauge recovers more quickly. Obviously, that's a pretty staple one. And the last two, I feel like kind of up for grabs, but I do like raising your defense or yeah, raising your health by like ten thousand points, giving you an extra bar basically. And last one, your attack goes up the lower your health goes. So, in theory, you can take Turles from, like, a really average run-of-the-mill character who's got really crap me melee attacks and pretty alright Blast 2 attacks. Dude, actually something of a pretty viable threat, if you have access to custom, that is. If you don't have access to custom items, then you're probably going to have a pretty bad time. I'm, I'm not going to lie, it's probably not going to end too well, actually. So, let's just take this Turles setup into, uh training mode and quickly see what he is capable of. Alright, so considering the fact that Turles only has four gauges available and or at max or only up to four and each one does cost two, uh, you're definitely going to be wanting to use this as much as possible every time you use it. Again, plus two gauges. So you can use it as like a pseudo full, full power charge if you want to, I guess so. Um, already at plus already at plus four Four, five, plus six. Also, fun fact: the fruit of Trimite actually does appear on his character model. We use that, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, all of a sudden, Turles is ridiculously powerful, and can definitely chew through someone's health points without really needing to worry about actually trying too much. Like, hang on, let me just see if I can get a basic bread and butter combo down. Or completely drop it because I thought I have one more dash, but apparently not. But yeah, um, if you're not using Blast 2s, which is a big problem with Turles personally, if you're not using them, there's. You should definitely be using them with them. You can still squeeze them some pretty solid damage if you're in max power mode. It's a lot easier to actually. Wait a sec. Okay, cool. I don't want to make sure you can't, like, recharge your hyper mode. That'd be screwed up if you can. But yeah, in this. Basically, with this. Uh, Turles is a lot more deadly and has access to a lot more shit he's capable of. So, yeah, this, suddenly Turles is wimping from being shit to actually being okay. But again, the big deal is, you know, as soon as you use the Blast 2, your, your buffs are gone. Granted, at plus 7, Kill Driver is going to do a pretty good amount of damage. And if you actually combo into. Let me see if I can do actually. If you actually combo into Meteor Burst, you're gonna. Probably one shot someone. Let me try it actually really fast. See if it actually works. Alright, let's try a basic bread and butter combo with him. Oh, 
Like, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't even have to be long. Oops. Well, 19,000 for a completely meaningless combo. I suppose that's still okay. And considering as soon as you exit, you can go right back to the max power if you want to. That's not bad. Oops. Hang on. Uh, what is a good combo? Eh, that's okay. Rip this into an ultimate. It should work. There we go. Alright. So, in theory, this should do a crap load of damage by itself. Well, 30,000. And considering you didn't... And this is with uh, key power at minus one. So, this is pretty goddamn ridiculous. So, uh, yeah. That's pretty good. So, in conclusion, Turles... If you're doing, if you're allowed custom setups, then this setup is okay. But uh, also consider the fact that his defense is maxed out, key charge is maxed out, uh, melee is maxed out, and supers are maxed out. But you don't want to like really overly rely on them too much. Yeah, um, it's gonna be pretty good. Actually, let me just completely blow my meter right now so I can quickly see how good my charging speed is. And with that. Yeah, it's pretty solid. Now, okay, also I do want to quickly mention that while you, while you do have this setup on, Explosive Wave is a lot easier to have access to. So, four health gauges, max defense, Explosive Wave, and ability to go into max power basically whenever you want without using Blast 2. You're kind of covered. Only problem with this, of course, is your keep out game is complete shit. So, yeah, if you're facing someone with Barrage Death Beam or Destructive Discs or... Even a Super Command Man, you're gonna have problems, like really bad problems. Actually, I'm curious about something. We'll go away if you just do it raw in this. Nope. Oh, nope. That actually is a problem. <laughs> Apparently, your buffs do go away if you use the ult ult attack and miss. So, yeah. Yeah. Final good benefit, I guess, of Fruit Trade Might is that if you do it out in the open, it's kind of quick. It's not as painstakingly slow as sleep. So that's all right. Get behind some cover, keep out with some key blasts. You can probably squeeze in a few, but that's a big problem considering this. So, if you're finding someone in instant transmission, don't bother using Turles, he's already dead, basically. Or Barrage Death Beam. Or any other really fast character, basically. Just, if you're facing like a great ape or like someone slower, you can totally get away with this. But, uh, Death Storm, yeah, he's screwed. But yeah, this is a nifty little move that could potentially put Turl make Turles okay to okay to to have these to use. But for the most part, I wouldn't recommend doing it. There's so many holes in this game plan that it's really not worthwhile. But the idea of having a max stats character with plus four health, or no, with four health gauges, max defense, max max attack, in and can basically go into max part any time. It has really fast draining explosive waves. That's a pretty cool idea. Until you realize you have no zoning, no keep out, um, through the tree might takes forever to charge, or basically them out. Uh, use them at your own risk, for a high risk, for a high reward. It's a nifty gimmick, but at the end of the day, I think if you're gonna go with a character like this, you wanna stick with Goku's Kaoken. It's just so much easier to use. And, or fun to use personally. Anyway, hope you guys learned a thing or two from this. If you have the urge to use Turles, I'm sorry. <laughs> He's not good to use, but. Yeah, maybe we'll find something with them that I didn't. So, anyway, take care, guys.